I'm going to start my, my trust for my half of the baby. And to get the ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there ain't no half babies in my bellies. Um, this may not be according to your plan, Zach, but my babies ain't going to be raised separately. Ain't nobody said they was going to be raised separately. I'm just... He just found out that he was the father of one of my babies, and now he's over here doing too much. You hear that? You doing too much. Okay. This reminds me of the famous scene from The Notebook. What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? And I look at Karen, and in episode 15, the way she reacted to Aaron for doing too much. And then in episode 14, it seemed like she was saying Zach wasn't doing enough. Where if you look at how both of these men are dealing with the uh, rare and unique situation they found themselves in, both having impregnated Karen and she's carrying both of their children at the same time. Now, of course, you know, I still wish that Aaron got a DNA test or something to get confirmation that he is the other baby daddy, as opposed to simply going with it because, you know, Karen says so. But regardless, um, I'm thinking about how Zach wanted to make a trust fund for his baby. And I didn't like how all the other kids, well, Fatima and Karen and Aaron were making it, well, mainly uh, Karen and Fatima, they were making it seem like a package deal situation when it's like, no, Zach is only obligated to make a trust for his kid, not both. And, you know, yeah, I was making a trust for my half of the baby. And Karen's like, well, there ain't no half babies in this stomach, uh, Zach. So basically she was making it seem like you're only doing for your child as opposed to both children. Like it wasn't enough. And he's talking crazy. So basically, it's like she was dismissing his idea. Then Aaron comes along in the next episode with a dual stroller, state of the art, for both kids. And then, not only does Karen dismiss it, but she just flats out, goes off, and tries to shame him in front of her own mother. <laughs> Aaron just found out he's the father of one of my babies, and he's doing too much. And I'm thinking to myself, so what would it have looked like if, let's say, Zach, came into the salon with a stroller for one baby. Zach, you know, you know, I got two babies in here, right? Well, no, this stroller is just for my kid. <laughs> and then, no, you got Aaron who has a stroller for both, but he's doing too much. And man, this is, this is so crazy. And a lot of fans stated this and I agree. It makes a lot of sense. If Zach was doing everything that Aaron is doing right now, Karen wouldn't have a care in the world. She would just be eating it up. But the ironic part is the man that she seemingly wants all this stuff done by AKA Zach is a man. She will never have all of again due to the fact that he's moved on. And on top of that is only the father of one of the kids. So any sort of affection and whatnot will only be stemmed from the child. Like, you know, oh, well, I love her as the mother of my child, as opposed to I love Karen. But then the guy who is emotionally available and is willing to be there, not just for you, not just for his kid, but for both of those kids, you don't want damn near anything from him. You'd rather have him from Zach, the guy that you can't. Hey, you always want what you can't have. And it just baffles me. How Karen is just so wishy-washy, hypocritical, indecisive, and bitter. Seriously, her situation is rare, rare, and she should be blessed to have two baby daddies who are more than willing to be there for either one and or both of those kids. Yet she's so ashamed of the fact that, or what people are going to say and think, that she wants to keep it under wraps. It's just a dang shame. You know how many baby mamas out there would pray for one of their baby daddies to be even as remotely as willing to participate in taking care of the kids as Zach or Aaron. It's just, it's something else. This, this woman makes no sense, but let me know your thoughts on it. Do, what do you think about Karen feeling some type of way towards Zach for not doing enough and feeling another kind of way to Aaron for doing too much? It's just stupid. 
it's just stupid. I hope what Aaron said went to heart and she truly changes her demeanor after this episode. But like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.